What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I have a highly requested video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to clear the cache on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now this also work on any Samsung phone, so if you don't have an S22 Ultra, maybe you got an S21 or S20, no big deal. I'm gonna show you a couple of different methods to do this on an app by app basis, and also how to do it kind of all at once by wiping the cache partition. Now, wiping the cache is something I highly recommend when you take a big update, for instance, like the July security patch, or especially if you do something like enroll in the One UI 5.0 beta that's coming up. So we'll be going over that today. It's always a good idea when you get a large update and it really helps things run smoother. Before I do that, I do want to give a huge shout out to my friends over at Ugreen. They sent out their brand new Nexode GAN 200 watt desktop charger. And I wanna show you guys really quick what comes in the package. I've been using this, I just put it back in the box for aesthetic. I'll show you guys some of my charging uses cases in just a second. It's a very, very nice looking charger. It has a beautiful aesthetic that fits very nicely with any desktop setup. You have six total ports here for more devices. You can actually charge up a 16 inch MacBook Pro in just one and a half hours, which I've been using it with my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Three times faster than your original uh, phone charger as well for many phones. And this is such a compact charger that you have a lot of freedom with your desktop setup and you don't have to worry about having like messy wires and everything everywhere. Um, the advanced GAN and SIC chips improve heat dissipation, uh, takes the temperature reading every 0.5 seconds to protect your device from overheating, which is great. You've got wide compatibility because here you have not only four USB-C ports, but also two USB-A ports. And this thing has hybrid power solution that creates the conversion rate total 95%, providing industry leading efficiency to avoid wasting energy. So I've been using this, as you guys can see, it's very nice, fits beautiful with my desktop setup, charge up my tablet, charges the Galaxy S22 Ultra at its maximum speeds, and also charge up my MacBook Pro as well. Very, very, very nice compact solution for my friends at Ugreen. If you guys wanna check this out, the Ugreen Nexo 200 watt charger, I will have the link in the description as well as any relevant discount codes that they provided me with. They always have some of the best products in the business when it comes to charging. So I encourage you to give them a look if you're picking up a desktop charger anytime soon. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about clearing the cache on your Galaxy device. And uh, we're gonna do this in a couple of ways. The first one's gonna be on an app by app basis. Maybe you have a problem with a particular app that's been acting up, taking too much battery up or running slowly causing lag. You can go into your settings up here at the top Scroll down to settings where it says apps, and then where it says apps, just find the app that's causing you a problem. So let's say for instance, if I'm having a problem with Facebook, Facebook is a problem app that can drain battery. Sometimes Facebook updates go rogue. They cause lots of lag problems with your Samsung device. Scroll down to where it says storage, and then in storage, you'll see how much data is being, you know, storage is taken up by the cache by Facebook, almost 400 megs, that's huge cache. You go down here where it says little broom, clear cache, go ahead and hit that and then that will go ahead and clear the cache. Now this won't clear out your account or anything. That will actually happen if you hit the clear data button. You don't wanna clear the data button, uh, at least unless you wanna get rid of your accounts, because if you do clear data, it's gonna get rid of your Facebook account. You can see my Facebook account's still there, uh, so I don't have to sign back in or anything. But if you clear data, that's gonna cause that problem. So what if you wanna wipe the cache partition entirely, which means wipe the cache basically of all of your apps simultaneously, this is something that I recommend when you install a big update because sometimes files just get kind of mixed up and misplaced. You see some lag, you see some increased battery usage. The way you do this very simply, you're gonna power off your device by holding down the volume down button and the power button simultaneously. Go ahead and hit power off. You're gonna wait for the device to power off. So the Samsung logo goes off, you feel a vibration. Then you're gonna hold down the power and volume up simultaneously until you see the Samsung logo then you can release it, and then it's going to take you into a menu where you'll be able to do the white cache partition. So there's a lot of options in here. You wanna make sure you go down, use the volume down key, go to white cache partition. Make sure you don't choose wipe data slash factory reset, because that's gonna erase your entire device. You definitely don't wanna do that, unless of course you have some reason to wipe your entire device, but that's a much more drastic step that I don't recommend doing unless you have some really critical issues. Choose wipe cache partition, hit the power button. It's gonna give you an error because it says this cannot be undone, but it's not gonna cause any problems. It's just gonna improve the way your device runs. If anything, it's not gonna certainly cause any negative issues. 
power down, hit the volume down, hit the power button for yes. It's gonna go ahead and clear your cache. You can see at the bottom, it says cache wipe complete. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and reboot system now by choosing that option and pressing the power key. It's gonna reboot your phone and then you'll be good to go. So this is one of the steps, one of several steps I recommend when you get a big update, like a monthly security patch, or you, especially if you do something really big, like join the beta, like I said, that's coming up. One UI 5.0 beta will be out here in a couple of weeks. If you guys haven't seen the features, check out my video. I just dropped a video that's gonna talk about all those features that are coming out, some of them leaked. But I recommend doing this. The other thing I recommend doing is repairing your apps. And I'm actually gonna make a video on repairing apps as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to repair apps after a big update, stay tuned and I'll talk about that as well. A couple of reminders before we uh, leave. Again, if you guys wanna check out the Ugreen Nexode 200 watt charger, again, the link's gonna be in the description, the pinned comment, as well as any relevant discount codes. Six devices at the same time, including 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is my huge laptop that I use for editing. And uh, of course your Galaxy devices, your Galaxy S22 Ultra, charge those up at really fast speeds and also looks nice on your desktop. Also, we do have the Galaxy Z Fold 4, Z Flip 4, and Watch 5 Pro pre-order mystery box going on. If you wanna get a free mystery box with a case, stand, cleaning kit for your phone, if you're pre-ordering, sign up on my website. I will be asking for proof of pre-orders for those who reserve one, just to make sure people aren't fraudulently doing it and getting boxes when they don't pre-order the phone. Completely free, shipping's free, just my way of giving back. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.